Hey YouTube, I got a Nook color, and it's cool. I got rid of the factory firmware and put CyanogenMod Mod 7 on here. Right now I have the newest uh, nightly build on here. Let's open up Ron Manager, and we can see. Okay, I don't have the newest night build up, but the newest night build is 138. I pretty sure I have 132, 131. I have night build 131 on there at the moment. And I have this unit overclocked to 1.3 gigahertz. And it's soaring. I could show you, we'll pop open settings real quick. Hop into Sanogen Mod settings. Uh, performance. Yes, we know the dragons are ahead. <clears throat> I have the Interactive X Governor on. Minimum CPU frequency is 600 megahertz. Maximum is 1300 megahertz. Come back out, and right now I have a little widget there telling me what the clock is at at this moment. Um, the system is ridiculously responsive in every aspect. It's just soaring. It's flying. Um, I have the ADW launcher on here. <clears throat> um, I could do a quadrant run for you. We'll do a full bench, well, quadrant standard run. And we will do a full benchmark. It's going to take a minute or two. Now, if anybody wants a more in-depth uh, video explaining how to actually root the, the Nook color and put a um, put a custom ROM on here like Sanogen Mod. Now uh, I think the Nightlies are based off of the 7.1.0 mod I think which is Android 2.3.4 the latest stable release I think is um, the latest release candidate is 7.1 Point zero, and then the latest stable release from Energy Mod is 7.0.3, I think. Yes, we do want to proceed. And our score is that focuses there 2,475. I want you to really be able to see that there. There you go, 2,475. Now that's with the stepping enabled, so it wasn't set. The governor was not set the performance that was set to Interactive X, so it was able to step down a little bit. But when it's really being stressed, it does step up to with maximum frequency. So that's at 1.3 gigahertz right there. You can see the Nexus One is way down there. It doesn't actually give you a number for that, but we have a massive score. Which is good. Yep. Um, everything works on here. Let's open a. Well, actually, I don't want to open that. I'm get killed at. Uh. We have Pandora running. Google Plus. Oh, if anybody wants a Google Plus invitation, let me know. Um. Come on, market. Of course, with this um, being a nightly build, there are, are a few bugs still in there. Mostly, like some stuff I've noticed, is certain parts of the touch screen are a little bit finicky sometimes. They don't respond. <clears throat> Most of the corners, I have realized the bottom left corner is a little stubborn. But, yep, we have the app drawer. See? That's what I mean by stubborn. And I just moved my app drawer off the bar. Didn't want to do that. The app drawer is blazing quick. Blazing quick. And, uh, oh, we got Angry Birds. We could, uh, play a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Did it open? Yeah, there, there it's gone. Let's go. Play some Angry Birds on the Nook color. This will be fun. Oh, nice. Advertisements. I want to watch your trailer. Oh, 
actually. Let's turn the sound off there so I can keep talking. I think I've beat some of these, have I? Oh yeah, I'm already on level 20. Oh, I won't be able to beat this. Not while I'm filming. Boom! I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't do this one. <laughs> Looking through the camera. But you can see it runs perfectly fine. Oh, there's another benchmark. Actually, I want to show you. Um, right here, NeoCore. Now, I think on on this, on the Nook Color, you get a lot less score on this benchmark than you would if you run it on an actual phone because it's running at a lot higher resolution than most of the phones. So, no, I didn't not want to run that. All right, now the benchmark. The, it's pretty cool, giant robots. Giant robot, yeah. Oh, there we go, 29.5 FPS. So, yep. That's the Nook Caller running San Engine Mod. Actually, let's get the exact nightly that I'm running. About tablet. Um, mod version, it is 7.13 which we are running Android version 2.3.4 which is 7.13 so if you hop back in the ROM manager real quick and 7.13 is build 131 this is before he um, they started combining the uh, overclock kernel Dallingrin's overclock kernel into it they did that at 132 didn't work so well so back at 131 and you flap flash the, uh, the kernel separately and that's when you get the blazing really quick snappy OS. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's really cool. Uh, feel free to comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. If you need any help um, or if you do you could request uh, another video. I, mean, I'll could, I could show you. Well, I'm not going to do it again but I'll run through everything you need to do to be able to actually root in a color uh, originally um, and then be able to uh, flash the clockwork, clockwork recovery of course you could do that ROM manager anyway and uh, be able to flash your own uh, custom ROMs alright thanks for watching thumbs up this video comment below and uh, thanks for watching guys